Hello everybody, Cedric and Cedric here, CRWC, and we will be reviewing All Elite Wrestling's Ring of Honor event. And this starts off with, uh, uh, let me scroll up here on uh, my document here. Uh, this is Braden Irvin versus the Technical Beast, Josh, the Goods Woods. Oh wait, they dropped the goods. Yeah. So Woods wins with the Anarchy Suplex and Pin. Oh yeah, is that kind of review? Took about a minute. Yep, the match did. Next, Scorpio Sky versus Tony Nese. It was a very competitive match. It was pretty good for the most part. Um, but uh, I'll explain. But look, Sky he wins with the TKO big finish and Pin. Your favorite stripper and mine, Scorpio Sky. I noted that this. May should have been the main event. Yeah. It should have been. It should have been. It was a good match. Here's the thing, okay? Look, Tony Nese, is he good? Yep. Could he be great? Yep. But he gave himself a stupid gimmick. And they aren't going to put him in, in any important type matches. Now he's stuck in mid-card. I shouldn't have been able to hear the airplane like that. It was real low. That, that was real low. Scorpio Sky making a return. Scorpio Sky looks good. He moves smooth. He's smooth in that ring. He knows what he's doing. He, I, I, I would call him a ring general by now. Yeah. He'll lead a match, and you couldn't even tell that he's doing it. That's that's next level for someone to lead a match, and you can't tell that they're doing it because he led this he match. Led this match. Um, and the reason I call it TKO Big Finish is because. It was a set up to the finish. It was a build up to the finish and move, not just I hit you, I'm done. He built up to it with a flurry and whatnot. So big finish. Um, then Gravity versus Lee Johnson. Gravity won with the diving bullet splash and pin. And then I noted that the match took too long for us. Yep. Reason being is that we've been educated on gravity. Maybe, just maybe, Gravity has gotten a lot better, but we can't see it because he was served to us on a trash can lid. Trash can lid. No, Gravity Look, I mean, from what we saw in the ring, he, honestly, he was moving right. He was doing right. He had a more um, U.S. style. Maybe um, somebody's been working with him. Yeah. And I was thinking, that made me think, maybe, maybe we're sleeping on Gravity. Maybe he's actually getting better, you know? It was, so, check out the next match. Yeah, because I ain't gonna rewatch that. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. It went too long to for them to be where they are as names in this company. It just went too long. They could have gotten that done a lot quicker. Yes, that match should have been maybe three or four minutes. Next, uh, let's see the Outrunners. They cut an '80s promo that we couldn't believe in. Could believe in it, but the nostalgia was cool. A lot of Macho Man. A lot of Macho Man. Macho Man never die. <laughs> yep. <laughs> then we get Lady Frost versus Billy Starks with Athena in her corner. Frost hits the Sky Twister press, but Athena pulls her off of the pin. And it was a beautiful Sky Twister press. It was. Billy fights back and hits a double trapped arm De Beers special. And she got the pin. After the match, Athena joyfully beats down on Frost and Starks pulls. Athena's belt away to stop the onslaught. Athena scolds Billy and Frost escapes. During the distraction, the fans are unhappy with Billy Starks because they cheer for violence and Billy Starks is like, be nicey nice. So the fans are not very happy with Billy Starks and they want Athena to hurt someone. Just gotta add that Lady Frost is so clean and crisp in the ring, it's a joy to watch. Yes. Yes. And that's true. Um, next, the Outrunners, Truth Magnum and Turbo Floyd. <laughs> Those are some 80s names for you. Versus Action Andretti and Darius Martin. Double shoulder slam, big finish after a flurry of kicks and whatnot for the pin. So the Outrunners lose again. But they performed well. Oh, they the I Outrunners. Mean, they're they're good. If you want to go on in ring work, they should be one of the top tag teams and there. They were definitely blocking the flip flop from the Flying Boys. They cut them off and made them ground wrestle, but it wasn't enough. Nah. Griff Garrison with a believable promo to Maria and Cole Carter. 
he talked about arriving in the company and being given a partner, but now that partner's gone. That would be Jack Perry. No. No. He was teaming up with Jack Perry? You don't remember, do you? No, I thought Jack Perry was immediately picked up with the no. Luchasaurus. And yeah, the it dude. was. Who was Griff Garrison with? He was with um Brian Pillman Jr. He was, wasn't he? Yeah. That's what it was. I'm sorry. They all looked alike at the time. Not in face, not in body, the hair. Yeah. I'm serious. I'm really thinking back on it. All I see is curly, bouncy, brunette hair. Yeah, Brian Pillman's got the long mullet. Eh, yeah, he yeah. had more of a mullet. And he's a uh, mullet. No, de not definitely a, a mullet. You know, Jack Perry got a whole head full of long, limp hair. I just see bouncy hair. Yeah. I can't even see Luchasaurus uh, until I see the finisher of um, Luchasaurus doing the backdrop and then uh, Jungle Boy catches him into the powerbomb. Outside of that, I'm like, aren't those, you know, Luchasaurus ain't even in the picture. Mm -hmm. I just see those three. <laughs> but okay, it ain't Jack Perry. Jack Perry, okay. Uh, who is gone. Who is also gone, yeah. Um, he says that that could, that um, he's Griff Garrison, after saying that, that he was given the partner, now that partner's gone. Um, he says that he and Cole and Maria could work out. He says, but they have to know mm. that it could be either Griff or it could be Carter that goes next. They don't know, so they got to make it work. They have no choice but to make it work. Maria said, it'll but be he wants to do says, it the right we'll way. We'll do it the right way. So next we got Lainey Luck versus Layla Hirsch. Maria watches from the stage. Layla wins with the cross arm breaker submission. Post match, Layla says she's 11 and 0. She deserves her match with Athena. Jimmy Jacobs return. Okay. Uh, the Prince of Zombies, as they, it was called. Princess. Princess, yes, of Zombies versus Shane Taylor with Lee Moriarty. And Lee Moriarty looked like some fan that got past the barricade. <laughs> yeah, he's just out there in a denim shirt and jeans and cap. <laughs> no, it was like one of the little golfing polo shirts. That little cap and skinny black jeans <laughs> or something. He's just he's like a mess. But <laughs> he looked casual. He didn't look a mess. And smart Mark, he looked a mess. Why don't why, why don't why don't men wear men's pants? Mm -hmm. It'll come back around in about 15, 20 years. Baggy pants will come back in style for the ladies. I I, I wish they'd come back in style for the dudes. Baggy pants. Women just look really sexy in baggy pants though. You know? Dudes look far more attractive than baggy pants too. <laughs> I don't know about that. So Taylor wins <laughs> after the dude. <laughs> Shane Taylor wins with the spinning Tenzon Tombstone Driver, or TTD. He got his pants fixed, too. They weren't yep. so baggy. And he got the pin. See, he knows how to do it without giving somebody a concussion. He got a good firm waistband. Those shorts are going nowhere. Yep. Nope. Good match. Mm-hmm. Jimmy bought it to Shane. It was yeah, he good. did. He, he tried. He, I mean, he tried. Yep. Backstage, Layla Hirsch walks in on Marie's interview and says she needs to manage the kingdom. And Layla says that she... Uh, she can get the job done on her own each time. She adds that while Marie doesn't think she's ready, the board of directors do. So next week, Layla Hirsch versus Athena for the Ring of Honor women's title. Marie says, and this is after um, Layla leaves, but she has this kind of weird sneer on her face. She says, good luck with that. Because the, the, her face reads, not going to do well. <laughs> I think it'll be a competitive match. It will be. I don't be. blame Layla for all that waiting on the on the ramp, and then when you speak to her, it's all these cryptic messages. It's like, bitch, tell me what's what will get the hell out my face. Nobody yeah. got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Anybody got time? I, I, I ain't got time. So, Dalton Castle and the boys, they get a win over three people. Dalton wins with a knee drop to the back after the bangerang for the pin. Then Griff Garrison and Cole Carter versus the Infantry. This was a hot mess because the Infantry is actually better than them, and it showed in this. Yes. Cole got an illegal pin for the victory after the dis distraction by Marie. So, yeah, it, 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 the end was a hot mess because they, the Infantry, they know what they're doing. They're you know? clean and polished, too. Yeah, they make some hiccups here and there, yes. They do tighten up on them punches, but 
Other than that, they don't look sloppy. Yeah, they they look pinpoint for the most part. And Cole and Griff were not in any spot to do anything right. It was it was a hot mess at the end. Allison K versus Mercedes Martinez with Diamante in the corner. Ooh, Diamante good, was all over the place. <laughs> but Mercedes wins with a Fisher, Fisher Woman's Buster and Pin. Fisher Person. That was a good match. It was. It was a good match. It was back and forth. Diamante was talking her trash. Yes. She was, Diamante and Mercedes, like, they could be sisters. Yeah. I, I, they, they got the same mannerisms and everything. Like, they sit around talking shit and giving dudes a hard time, man. And, and, <laughs> and in the mirror, they practice, they can do the same facial expression. <laughs> so then the Minion family are backstage with Lexi wearing her Minion bestie shirt. Lexi was ready. Dex, yep, Billy Stark says that she won all by herself. Athena comes in and says that Billy needs more training. She says she will put her title on the, on the line next week against Hirsch. And make an example of her. We're getting to the end, folks. Gates of Agony versus Iron Savages. This right here is also an indictment on the stupidity of Ring of Honor booking. Gates of Agony win with the Pendulum Spinebuster. Toa gets the pin. I know that this match was only boring because it does nothing for either team. Iron Savages are used as enhancement talent. Gates of Agony just lost their belts. The Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions will do anything on any show but Ring of Honor. Mm -hmm. What is the damn point? Because the, the Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions have become a vanity project for the MJF show. On the rest of the AEW shows. That's all. Hey, check this out. Check Excuse this me. Out. The, the MJF, Adam Cole, Let's Be Bros. And, and yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to say that. If. <laughs> if <laughs> look, 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 look. You get your people on AEW's programming of Dynamite and Collision. You give them the tag team titles from Ring of Honor. So people see it. They're defended on those shows and AEW pay-per-views. All right? Mm -hmm. People will then say, Ring of Honor, man, we got to check that out. Where can we find it? Oh, I can't watch it unless I pay $9 and something a month for it? Um, Now, you're going to have them pay money. And look, man, I love, look, 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 the wrestlers are not the problem. Nope. But I'm going to just say this. They're going to pay money each month to watch rubbish. There's barely any continuity. No one is built up to be a star. No one is built up to be beyond an opening act. The only They're, title on Ring of Honor is the women's title. You want to see the TV title of Ring of Honor? You got to watch AEW show. That's you got to watch Joe Collision. Is. You got to watch Collision to see the Ring of Honor television title. You want to see the tag team titles? You got to watch Dynamite. That's where the, 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 the belts are with, with MJF and Adam Cole. Now, if you want to see the three, the, 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 the six man tag team titles, you got to watch wherever the Young, young bucks, bucks are. Yeah. What kind, and I don't what recall, kind of booty I don't, shit is that? I don't recall Adam Page. Um, being out there with that six man tag team. Is he title. the one that's got the other belt? Yeah. No, he wasn't out there with him when he was up against Swerve. Uh huh. <sighs> yeah, he didn't even care. He didn't even care. I'd be like, you going against one third of the tag team champions, Ring of Honor tag team champions. Oh, you won't be seeing this on Ring of Honor. You won't be seeing that. You won't be seeing the world, uh, the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Championship because that's going to be. On what Dynamite and and Wrestle Dream, those are AEW primarily. Mm -hmm. So the only Ring of Honor belt that's on Ring of Honor is the Women Honor Women's World Title. That's it. Athena's carrying the show by a damn so. So the fans are going to tune in to see a a show that has barely their belt defended on it. You're not going to see any of the other belts, but you will see the Ring of Honor women's belt now. And the women women's division right now is the most interesting thing on the show. 
I'm happy about that, but that sucks when you got three other tight three other titles. Four yep. no three other titles, yeah. And they don't appear. So people are gonna tune in, pay Excuse money. Me. I was right. Four other titles. Yep. People five. Five of the titles. The pure champion too. Oh yeah, that's right. They don't have any pure type of title matches on the damn show. Don't have they barely have any pure matches. Yeah. So that's what people are gonna Man, look at these Ring of Honor belts all over the place. They must be cooking on Ring of Honor. No, they're not. There's nothing to work for. There's nothing there's nobody there doing anything to get anything, to do anything, to be about anything that's worth anything. Like spending all day cooking a meal and when you're over, there's no food prepared. And you be like, what was you doing in there? Well, there's steam in the air. You better suck it up. <laughs> Get the nutrients from that water, man. Yeah, I, I spray salt. <laughs> How the fuck you spray salt? Get it while you can. <laughs> Saline steam. <laughs> Do it. Spray salt. <laughs> 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 people aren't gonna want to watch this uh, they're not gonna want to care this. that's why we watch it for free uh, if I had to pay to see this I nah. wouldn't talk about it that ain't happening mm-hmm. if you knew the stuff that we would that we buy just for our personal entertainment and gratification you'd be like well, wouldn't you spend ten dollars on Ring of Honor no no so after this okay I'll move on we get Ethan Page versus Kohit Raju, which should have come before the Gates of Agony match. Ethan Page wins with the Leaping Ace Crusher and pin. In like three minutes. Kohit did good. He sh- it should have come before the former six-man tag team champions wrestling as a tag team match. Yep. It's just, just like Scorpio Sky, and who he wrestled? Uh, man, the hell if I remember, man. Somebody. Uh, Tony Knees. That should have been. That should have been later in the show, not the second match. Yep. And then when they did have the Ring of Honor champion up there, he wrestled first. Yeah. Yep. Give way to the main event of Gravity. Yeah. Claudio Castagnoli wrestles in the opening match. Gravity gets the main event. Gravity, you were in that show or this show? Uh, that show. Okay. Not this one. So then, Metalik, because, you know, Claudio is not the champion now. No. So Metalik gets the main event spot against Brian Cage, who should be in multiple main event spots. Brian Cage, I am getting high on Brian Cage. Yes, he's been doing so good. He yeah. he got rid of the the stupid gear. Yep, he's he, he's rounding out where he should be as a wrestler. Not, I get it. You want to be able to do everything, but you don't have to do everything every match. He looks great. He does. He looks great. He moves great. But he needs he needs a, a, a good finisher. And that's going to be tough because everybody does everything throughout every match. It's hard to tell what should you do. Mm-hmm. What move can you take from somewhere that ain't being done? Exactly. And so Cage wins with the spinning Tenzon Tombstone driver and pin. But he didn't concuss him. No. So you got Shane Taylor and Brian Cage using the same move as the finisher. My I add, I don't know. Look, I'll be honest with you, Shane Taylor. He was doing that before Cage even got the Ring of Honor, so Cage is the one that shouldn't be doing it. But you know, Shane Taylor's so versatile. He can use that. He can use the Marcus Garvey driver, which is the package power driver, or he can just knock you the fuck out. Yes. Yes. Shane Taylor is versatile, and that's just two of his, I think, three of his six finishers, I think. Yeah, you hear me? You hear me calling that move? You hear me? Mm-hmm. You call it move, girl. You call it move. That's some sexy shit right there, girl. <laughs> yeah. You gonna undress that finisher right there. Yeah. <laughs> Daffy duck your way out of that one. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm gonna take you to the Terry Fold dance. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. 
Suck those goldy toes. This thing got very lewd. Yeah. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> so look, that's that's gonna do it for us. All right, we we reviewed this. You know, let us know how you feel about this in in the uh, comment section below. You know, we appreciate that. You know, if you want us to talk about a certain thing or something like that, let us know. We listening. You know. So with that, this has been Cedric and Cedric for CRS and Commentary on All Elite Wrestling's Ring of Honor event. And with that, y'all be good, be chill, be safe, and we will see you next time.